as spring blossoms in the English countryside and we head towards May. I'm embracing the slower pace of life, surrounding myself with people I love, things that make me feel cozy and creating moments that fill my heart with joy and peace. I know that many of my followers are autumn girls through and through and the next few months can be difficult for some of you. So I hope this video will inspire you a little to make the most out of the months leading to autumn. <laughs> I am definitely one of you, an autumn girl at heart, but I've managed to find love and appreciation for every season. Today I'm going to share with you some of my ways to stay cozy in spring and summer. Number one will be reading Cozy Dab on the sofa. It's the simplest thing, a setting that everyone already has at home. You can easily buy secondhand books or borrow some for free from your local library and dedicate time to slow down and really tap into those cozy vibes with the soft glow of candles and tea or coffee at hand. Number two on my list are forest walks. Nature heals everything, from a stressed mind to a broken heart. And spending time outdoors is a great idea all year round. Observing seasonal changes in the forest is a lovely way to stay connected to the seasons. The way light filters through trees and how abundant the forest is at the peak of summer. I love watching the oak and many other trees changing throughout the year knowing that all this leads to our beloved fall colors. Spring and summer are necessary in the cycle of life and my thought is that without them perhaps we wouldn't be able to appreciate autumn and winter as much. Number three is a little bit of an indulgence. Some of you might know that my husband and I have lost a substantial amount of weight in the last few years, so I do not encourage overeating or eating unhealthy, but rather keeping a balanced diet that includes both a daily dose of vegetables, but also a delicious coffee and cake or a burger in a cozy cafe or local farm shop. For me, comfort food is the peak of coziness and can easily be practiced in a mindful way. As a bonus, you get brownie points for supporting a local business. We recently visited Great Chalfit Manor and I think this has become my favorite National Trust place. I'm looking forward to coming back here in summer to admire their extensive rose bushes that cover the manor. While we are in this peaceful setting, I'm going to tell you number four on my list of creating a cozy life. It's probably one of the most important ones. No amount of candles, blankets and coffee will give you this fuzzy warm feeling inside which we are all looking for through cozy living if we don't cultivate a calm mind. This doesn't mean that you are magically expected to erase stress and worries but rather learning to accept things as they are and not let them control our emotions and mood. I'm sure we've all been in the situation when you're trying to read or watch something but your mind is overthinking past events like the conversation you had at work. I promise you, you are not alone in this, but you need to start training your mind to leave these kind of troubles outside of your front door and not let them eat into your free time, which should be dedicated to yourself and your well-being. When you let the outside factors affect you so much, you are basically giving away control over your life and there's nothing cozy about that. Number five on my list is shopping locally for local produce. Our farm shop has cute wicker baskets instead of the usual plastic ones and every time I shop there I feel like I'm in an episode of Gilmore Girls and I'm about to walk into Kirk. 
naturally we all shop in supermarkets for convenience but going out of your way let's say just once a week to shop in an open air market or farm shop is a really lovely and cozy way of spending your day and also supporting a local business We had a good reason to visit the farm shop. Andre Mams visited us for a week and asked for good quality eggs to make homemade pasta. This leads me to point number six, cooking at home. I already mentioned indulging in a cozy tea room or coffee shop but cooking at home is also very cozy. It's a wonderful way to create a warm, inviting atmosphere right in your own kitchen, even if it's just a simple act of making tea. Number seven on my list is cherishing vintage and heritage items. This cookbook belonged to Andre's great-grandmother. All those decades later, it has no cover, but it's still used by Andre's mom for recipes of cakes and pasta. I can't read Romanian, as my native language is Polish, but thankfully in this day and age this is not an obstacle as there is plenty of websites and apps that will translate any language for you. Flipping through this book with its lost pages and food stains made me think of all these women in Andre's family who used this book to nourish the Tudorake family and eventually raise an amazing man like my husband. Surrounding yourself with imperfect items that have rich history is definitely a cozy way of life. A little update on my David Austin roses. They are doing great and I cannot wait for the first rose bud to appear. Gardening is number 8 on my list of cozy things to do in spring and summer, even if you have limited space or use your kitchen windowsill. It's scientifically proven to release stress and improve well-being. I'm soon going to be planting my pumpkins and I'm excited to be sharing their growth with you in the coming months. Number nine on my list is surrounding yourself with people who love and appreciate you. I think this is an important point to share at this time of the year, as late spring and summer are traditionally times when we socialize more. Over the next few months you might be invited to places you don't really feel like going or spending time with people who are not exactly friendly. Sometimes it's hard to navigate these situations but the most important thing to do is to protect your peace. Cozy life can only be achieved with a peaceful mind so don't let any social situations throw you off in the coming months. <laughs> Number 10 of cozy things to do is something I've put aside for way too long, creating a cozy patio. It's perfect for the coming summer activities and also I'm already looking forward to cozy autumn evenings with the fire pit, a blanket wrapped around my shoulders and a mug of hot chocolate in my hands. We've been gifted this patio furniture and decor by Coastway. Thank you so much Coastway, I love every single item. I will link everything in the video description if you want to have a look. I chose cottage style items that make our little back garden a cozy oasis for coming months. It will be perfect spot for my morning coffee and quiet afternoon with a book. My little family can now also enjoy meals outdoors on balmy summer evenings. I'm loving our new charming bistro set as it encapsulates the vintage charm of country living and in my opinion is very elegant. 
overall cozy living is not complicated and it doesn't have to fit any aesthetic. Each of us creates our own version of cozy and I hope this video inspired you a little to look for the moments of cozy in everyday life in the coming spring and summer months.